Welcome to the Marine Harvest Canada Careers video. I'm Ian Roberts and have been salmon farming for the past 16 years in British Columbia. Let me tell you about my experience working for Marine Harvest Canada, the largest company in the Canadian aquaculture industry with about 500 full-time employees. We grow one of the world's healthiest and most popular foods, salmon. First, let me take you on a tour of our business. The story begins in a freshwater hatchery like Big Tree Creek on Vancouver Island, where eggs and milk from our brood stock are used to grow a new generation of healthy and fresh salmon. The eggs are placed into rearing trays until the sack fryer big enough to be moved into holding tanks. Several times during this process, the fish are divided and sorted to ensure they have the best possible growing conditions. After about one year in the hatchery, the fry are ready to move to salt water. These small salmon are now called smolts. They're moved by tanker trucks and live haul vessels directly to the saltwater farm. The fish are then released into holding pens where they'll be fed and cared for as they grow to maturity over the next 16 to 24 months. At harvest time, the fish are moved from our farm sites aboard vessels like the Serena Joy to the processing plant in Port Hardy. There, the salmon are processed and shipped fresh to our worldwide customers. Now you've learned about the business of growing salmon, so let me tell you what it's like to be a part of the Marine Harvest Canada team. Let's use a saltwater farm site as an example. This is not a 9 to 5 office job. Your workplace is one of the world's most beautiful marine environments, and your work schedule is typically 8 days on and 6 days off. The crew boat takes you to the farm site to start your shift. Sometimes the weather is beautiful, and sometimes it's not, but that's coastal BC. You might spend the travel time looking for wildlife or catching a nap, but soon you're at the site. Meeting with the departing crew lets you catch up on farm conditions and what's happened during your time off. Farm crews are usually four people who live on site in floating or land-based houses with full kitchen and laundry facilities. After dinner, you might watch TV, check your email, or surf the net. The farm sites have satellite connections, so keeping in touch with friends and family is easy. Early the next morning, after coffee and a weather check on the radio, you start the day by performing safety and environmental checks. This may include using a plankton tow to ensure water conditions are ideal for feeding. Now it's feeding time. Some farms use a central feed system, while other farms use boats equipped with feed blowers and storage silos. Hoppers, hoists and forklifts makes this heavy work easy to manage. Underwater cameras monitor fish during feeding time. Feed is our number one cost, so when the fish stop eating, we stop feeding. Regular monitoring of the ocean bottom near our farm sites ensures that the aquatic environment stays healthy. Our Campbell River offices include fish health staff and a state-of-the-art laboratory where detailed fish health analysis is done. Scuba divers will visit your site to inspect net pens. Your daily routine includes equipment maintenance, cleanup, data entry and record keeping. It's busy and the work can be intense, so downtime is built into the schedule. Technical skills upgrading are important to everyone at Marine Harvest Canada. So one morning you're off for a one-day course with staff from other farm sites in the area. Then you're back to the farm in time to help with the rest of the day's work. After 18 to 24 months of hard work, it's time to send your salmon to market. When it's harvest time, the pace at the farm does quicken. Early one morning, the harvest boat arrives to take the largest salmon to our processing plant. Over the next few weeks, this process is repeated until the farm is empty. The work continues to ready the site for the next generation of salmon. During this downtime, major maintenance is done 
including checks of all the structures above and below the waterline. Are you thinking about a career in aquaculture? Well, here's what some of the Marine Harvest team have to say. I've been with the company for just over 10 years. This industry has been a lifesaver for my family, and uh, I enjoy working with the people. My name's Chris McNeil. I work here at Big Tree Creek Hatchery. I've been here for seven years now. I enjoy working outdoors. I enjoy working with the fish, and I enjoy working with the team here. Hi, my name's Al. I work at Marine Harvest. Seven years, enjoy the job. I uh, drive forks, work uh, shipping and receiving for a couple years now. It's a satisfying and enjoyable job. It supports my family and uh, keeps it all going. Uh, the outdoors that we have here is wonderful. This is what draws me out here. That and what we do, growing a wonderful product and taking the pressure off the wild salmon is something I truly believe in. My name is Corey Nelson. I'm uh, the mate on the Orca Chief. Been in the aquaculture industry for 17 years. I've been a good standing member on the Orca Chief for eight and a half years now. And uh, we have a great bunch of guys we all work with here and we love what we do. I'm working at Marine Harvest for seven and a half years, coming up eight. The job is great job, it's great people to work with. Job stability is great here. If you want to come have a good job, come work with us. Marine Harvest Canada. It's a career and a lifestyle.